The deployment of Nerdio Manager starts in the Azure Marketplace. We'll go ahead and click Create to begin the process. We're going to select the subscription that we're going to be using for this new deploy deployment and create a new resource group. We're then going to select the region in which we're going to create this deployment. In this case, we'll select North Central US. Click OK to move to the next step. At this stage, we're going to select an existing virtual network or create a new one. This network needs to have the ability to access our Active Directory domain controller and the file share that is going to house the FSLogix profile container. So we're going to select the network and subnet and click OK to proceed. At this stage, we're going to provide a username and password for an Azure AD administrator that's going to be used by the application to apply future updates automatically. Uh, this is a step that you can skip by selecting no at the top, or if you want the process to be automated, provide those credentials here. Click OK, and on this screen, we are going to select an Azure App Service plan. This is going to be the size of the Azure web application that's going to be used by the Nerdio Manager for WVD. Uh, there are six options listed here. Uh, depending on how many users there are in the environment, you'd want to choose the correct option. And this is something that can be changed later, even after the application is deployed. So we're going to select V2 for hundreds of users and click OK to continue. At this point, uh, we're going to get some instructions as far as what we need to do once the deployment is done. We just need to click Yes to confirm that we've read and made a note of these instructions, where to look for next steps. We're going to click OK to continue. We're going to wait for the validation to pass and click OK to move on to the final step to actually create the deployment. Now the validation is passed, we're gonna click OK. And then on this final screen, we're going to type in an email address and a phone number and click Create. This is going to initialize a new deployment of the application that you can see from the notifications bell right up here and you can click on submitting deployment to see the status of this deployment. Once we see that the deployment is in progress, we're going to click on that deployment and be taken to the screen where we can track the status. This is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes and the output for our next step is going to appear under this outputs screen there's going to be a web app url that we are going to need to copy that's going to appear here in just a few minutes now that the deployment is complete we can copy the application url and browse to that website to continue with the installation process okay here we have two options we can either run the installation process automatically via azure automation runbook or we can download a PowerShell script and run it manually. Because we did specify the run as credentials for Azure Automation, we'll be able to use the runbook and click Run Automation. This is going to take us to the Azure portal and open up the runbook that has been pre-configured. And we are going to click on Start and begin the process. Once the Azure runbook is done, we can log into that same URL, refresh the page, and continue with the configuration inside of the Nerdio Manager for WVD.